So usually in these examples I gave you, so like the video games, the Facebook, the cell phones, it usually affects other people than just yourself. When it becomes an addiction, it affects other people. It's no longer just yourself. Now, the younger generation has no concept of what it means to actually be social. See, now, now we've got social media, which allows you to turn to a device or a computer to have your, your concept of being social with people outside of the actual definition of being social, of like communicating with another person, like in the flesh and being right there. My wife just told me a story. She was at a, a, an event recently where it was, a, it was a graduation and there was all these kids there. And they're, you know, 18 or whatever, just graduating from high school. And it's at the point now where all these kids are at a party. They're all sitting at a table looking at their phones. Yeah. All of them. Like, you go to a party and you sit down and you just look at your phone. This is, where, this is where the kids are going these days. Like, interact with each other. You're right there next to each other. Why do you even have to get together at a party to sit down and look at your phones and text each other and giggle and laugh? And say, you know, put the phones away. <laughs> Enjoy each other. Like, like, that's the whole point of being there. Man, I, you know, now I'm starting to feel old and out of touch because I remember when answering machines started becoming popular. <laughs> okay? When you had a telephone at your house and it was attached to the wall. You can't bring it with you and go out, well, I'm going somewhere, let's bring the phone with me. Wherever you went, you would go and that's where you are. And you know what? Whatever you're doing, that's where your focus was going to be. And if you go out and visit family, you go out and visit your, your parents, or you go out and visit your cousins, you go out and visit your aunt and uncle, and you're at their house, you give them all of your attention because you're visiting with them. And whatever happened with your phone at home, it just rang. I remember sitting down to dinner with the phone on the wall, and you know if that phone rang? It rang, and it rang, and it rang. It's not that important because right now, at this time, we're spending time. And you know, that's the rule of my household right now. There's no devices. There's nothing out there. If someone calls, it can wait. When we sit down as a family to have dinner, see, there's some things that are important. And you have to decide for yourself what that is. In my family, spending time with my family as a family where we can all sit down at one table together and look at each other in the face, that's way more important than answering some phone call which is usually about nothing anyways these days. I mean, you used to call someone for a specific, you know, very specific reason, for a good reason in the past. Now it's just so easy and, and, and you know, I'll just give so-and-so a call, I'll give so-and-so a call, or whatever. And, you know, I, if you do that, if you, you know, I don't care. That's not, you know, that's not a sin to just to, to talk to people or whatever. But what, is, what do you value? What's important to you? Do you? Are you so addicted to, to just, when the phone rings, I just got to answer it. We get a text message, oh, I just got to see who texted me. I mean, I go out, you see people now on dates, and they go out to these fancy restaurants, and they're sitting there on their phones like, talk to each other. Who cares? Don't worry about the person that's texting you. Right. But this is, this is endemic in our society. And you know, honestly, to me, it's insulting. It's insulting. When, when I go out with people and like we're enjoying time together and you're just sitting there on your video game or whatever, it's like, oh, okay, well, I guess that's, that's how boring I am to you that you can't have a conversation, that you're just going to play a video game <laughs> instead of, you know, communicate and converse with each other while we're like out having fellowship and doing something together. And... I think it boils down a lot of times to an addiction where people don't even think about it. They get so involved in the habit where every time you sit down, you're getting on a game or every time you get, you know, we need to break the habits. Right. 